Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the beautiful world of BBB, where we have been given an excellent opportunity to go take someone's throne. We have seven more prestige than Mr. Austria here, and he has a weak claim heir, which means I can claim his throne. So what we need to do first is uh, get out of this war with Bohemia. And that's going to be as simple as well, getting a diplomat and just seeing what options we have. We could tech up a little bit, but... Well, actually, admin tech is fine. I might as well. Go ahead. As soon as this... Oh, 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 what's this? Act of Unity. Oh, Missionary Strength. Suffragan Bishop Act. Stability cost is cheaper. Yes. Uh, as soon as these sieges are done, we will send our peace offer. I want to give some land to Donzig if we can. We have tons of Diplo points. I might as well try. And then we'll send our peace offer. And try to... Try to get into a war with Austria for his throne. Don't know how likely it is, but we can give it a shot. Austria is not a weakling, but he has no manpower right now. So any, any war against him would simply be fighting his allies, and Austria himself wouldn't really do a whole lot. This is his army. This is what Austria has right there. He's got a couple troops scattered around, but this is it. That's his stack. His general isn't that good as a 3-2. And he is the same tech as we are. I think the problem I have... Oh, wow, Spain has no air. The problem I have right now is... Uh, we have two good relations. So we need to knock our relations down by sending insults or something. Doing a separate peace deal here will hurt our relations by 30, I believe. Separate peace. Let's, let's see here. All right, as soon as this one finishes, we'll peace out. Oh, before I do that though, let's get let's get through these lands first. There we go. Now I can peace out. Okay. So I want you to give some stuff to my vassal. He's got claims over here. Oh, you'll give him one, but not two. How close are you? You're really close to giving him two. All right. Should I hold out for that? I might as well. I mean, it's it's three points away. It should be really easy. No? Oh, it's four points away. Come on. the rebels and freeze good five points away it's like it's getting further away for some reason the fuck anyway get over here go get Kirko. Kirko is probably the the cincher we got Kirko. we're golden netherlands wants access sure Fifty-eight out of eighty-seven. Oh, he unsieged Moldavia. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he unsieged Moldavia. That sucks. Uh, maybe I should just take the one and get out of here. Oh, but I'm so stubborn. It's getting even further away. Like, what the fuck? Fifty-seven out of eighty-eight. Really?
Okay, now we're getting closer. 72 out of 88. Let's get our troops out of here. Just keeps bouncing around. It's like there's no... There's no decent point of reference as far as how close or how far we are from piecing out right here. It's quite frustrating. Wow, look at Brandenburg go. Holy shit. He's 7 out of 83. Huh. Pretty sure Moldavia is the key here. Moldavia was worth a lot. 7 out of 78. Come on. Noble family requests aid. 992 ducats. Well, I'll, I almost have that. Give me a minute, we'll have that. Or a couple minutes, anyway. Alright, get out of there. God, the supply limit over here is just so crap. But the next time we tech up, we should be okay. Tech 17 gives supply limit bonus. And we're almost there. Yeah, once Moldavia is done, we should be able to peace out. There we go. There we go. I can almost get war reps too, but fuck war reps. Let's get out of the war. Okay, Donzig, enjoy your new land, dude. Who can I rival? Well, I bet I could rival Austria if I... Uh, so he's upset, separate piece, right? Negative 30, separate piece. We can also break our alliance, send in insults, and claim his throne. There we go. We have claimed Austria's throne. Don't mind me, Austria. Don't mind me at all. Uh, I'm quickly going to dock up our troops. I mean, dock up our navies over here. We need to group up all of our heavies and everything. Because we're going to be in a big, big war situation here. I'm going to switch to the Protestant side and we're going to declare our war. But uh, we have to wait for a little bit here. Oh, we don't have to insult him at all. Nice. We do have to break our alliance, though. A couple things we got to do before we declare. Yeah, he still has no manpower. His army is just it's crap compared to ours. And Milan's only got 6,000 manpower as well. So he shouldn't be that big of a hurdle. So when can I declare? December 23rd. Oh, we have to get rid of our access as well. Lots of little details we gotta do. We're going to take a stability hit when we uh, declare the war because we have a royal marriage. Perfectly normal. We took a big loan. Wow. 1700 ducat loan. Whatever. All right. So let's check everything before we hit the button. Okay, that's it. Yep, just negative one. Okay, good. He's allied to a whole bunch of people. Whatever. We can't leave the league? We can't switch sides? Oh, click to leave. There we go. Now, can I be can I please be the league leader? 
Can I please be the league leader? No, why is Saxony the league leader? I want to be the league leader. How do you become the league leader? I'm going to wait one more month, I guess. But I don't want people to start leaving the league. If I wait too long, people will leave the league. I can at least embargo him. Still not the league leader. You don't have to be Protestant to be the league leader. At least I don't think you do. For Protestantism, it's the largest Protestant nation. So you're saying I'd have to flip to Protestantism to, take, to get the Union? I really don't want to. Nah, fuck it. I'm just going to declare the war. I don't even know. Like, I've been league leader several times, and I don't remember specifically what conditions it was. But, like, there's no information here. There's no tooltip to tell me what you need to be to be the league leader. I'm certainly the largest nation in the league. I don't know. Now, if I declare this, we're going to be fighting the entire league. We're going to be fighting all of this, not just Austria's allies. No, you Google it. Don't tell me to Google it. I'm busy. <sighs> I, I just immediately expected to have the leadership flipped to me, and we declare the League War. Platinum won't even join, so I'll be in this completely alone against, well, the entire League. Even the Ottomans. I'm just going to declare it. I can't pass this up. It's such a good opportunity. So we're fighting the entire league. Look at that. This is going to be a serious war. Now the war target is his capital. So all we have to do is sit on his capital. We get ticking war score. Uh, we have a lot of troops to fight. Let's go ahead and send our armies to his capital. I'm not going to pussyfoot around this shit. Okay, Navy, undock. Kill that fleet. And this Navy should probably just dock up for good. Okay. Yeah, World War I, no shit. It's a big war for sure. Even Crimea's in the war. Alright, this army, why don't we head this way? Uh, I can pick him up on the navy, yeah. Let's head this way, we'll pick him up. 
I just need to group up my troops. Hungary's in the war. Okay, we're in the target province of Vienna. Good, good. We sunk the uh, Hanseatic fleet. Good. Well, we destroy the Hungarian army. Great. So the nice thing about this is we can at least, at the very least, we can individually piece out these idiots. So perhaps our target should be to piece out people like Hungary. Just get them out of the war. And then the same thing with Milan and all these other guys. Just piece them out. Get them out of the war. Even Brandenburg's in this war. God damn. Oh, we're getting attacked. Yep, he's got a 3-2 general. Alright. I'll meet you on the field of battle. No problem. I would like to bring a general, though. All I have is my heir. Well, perhaps what we should do is run back to Verocid and pick up a general. Or just hire a merc with a general. Hmm. I'll just run a soldier over. Ow? Ow? One, three. Well, it's better than nothing. Why can't we just walk in there? What? What the fuck? Why, why were these two armies able to walk straight into Vienna and this army cannot? What the fuck is... Look at this path. It wants me to go all the way around the Black Sea. And around Lithuania. Are you fucking kidding? What? I guess we can't get into that battle. Can we run away? Yeah, okay. Well, that was odd. I don't understand that at all. Well, that sucks. There goes our siege progress on Vienna. All right, he's got Paris already with the walls busted. Are you kidding me? Two siege general. That's a problem. All right, Navy, group up. Pretty much full health, right? Yeah, pretty much full health. Let's go over here. Let's go sink whatever fleets are in the way. group up. Now the problem is, because we lost that battle, we're like, really scattered. I don't even know where the army's retreating to. Oh, they stopped. Okay. Get another general. Oh, two siege. Not bad. Um, let's 
Let's go kill this guy. Oh, he's attacking me in Hest. It's not good. We do have a general there, though. But he's attacking with 94,000 guys. Let's see if we can get in there and help out. No, we can't. What in the world? Why are we fighting so crappily? Even when we roll excellent, it's like, what the fuck? Our armies do not fight well for some reason. This is just really unexpected. I fully expected to have Vienna sieged by now, and that's not the case. We've lost both battles. Like, even 45 versus 5, we're having trouble winning this. Like, what the fuck is taking so long in this battle? And we couldn't even get out of Dalmatia. God damn it. Are you fucking kidding me? Where, where did I retreat to? Where? Down there. Okay. Getting absolutely crushed. There goes the capital. Wow, we sieged a province. Go us. All right, get the fuck down here. Most likely we're just going to have to retreat out of this. He arrives and he rolls a nine. Well, that works. We're losing a thousand guys a day. I don't know. For some reason, I thought we would have Vienna siege down by now. I thought we'd be pushing Hungary out of the war by now, but it's completely gone tits up. If we had stayed on the Catholic side of the league, this would never have happened. Alright, we're getting attacked over here. Rolling zeros doesn't help. Can we not roll zeros, please? 
Zero, and then a three, and then a five. Look at him, he's rolling sevens and nines and shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Can I even win a fucking battle? That'd be nice. No, I don't think I can win any battles. Nope. Nope. Unbelievable. Well, that's a problem. Shit. If I'd stayed in the Catholic League, then it, it would have been a lot less of a war. It would have been just his allies, which is just six guys. But I was thinking, and the reason why all this happened is because I was thinking as soon as I joined the Protestant League, we'd become the leader, and then it'd be the League War. Would have been great. But that didn't happen. If I had stayed in the Catholic League, it would have just been us versus Austria and a couple other guys. So that was the major problem. You guys done Shadow Retreating yet? Yes. Okay, good. At this point, I'm not sure what we can do against this. If anything. Why didn't I switch back to Catholic beforehand? Because you have to wait five years. That's why. You can't just switch back and forth. Here he comes. Nope, he turned around again. Yeah, I, I wish I could get hungry out of the war. I wish I could get anyone out of the war, but we're a little fucked right now. What I'm thinking is maybe we turn around and push out the Ottomans. I mean, the Ottomans are in the war. Maybe we turn around and push him out. But if that's what we're doing, that means we're just ignoring all this stuff. I mean, at this point, we just have to peace out. I don't see any other thing we can do here.
I can't peace out. <laughs> Austria requires personal union to be part of the peace offer. Well, how about that? Sounds like a good way to end the episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is how you completely fuck up. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.